tonight I have the pleasure of uh, talking to you about a Christopher, not the back row, knife. Uh, it's a survival style knife that he came out with. I'll show you both sides of that business card there. You found him on Facebook. Uh, there's his phone number. Both big make fan made knives. Uh, sheaths are made by his girlfriend Sarah. She does really, really great work. Um, there's also a lot of stamp work she does on some of the other sheaths I have. It's really good overall design. Alright, this knife. Go ahead and show you the spec sheet there. Put it all in the in the frame. Go ahead and read it to you in case you can't see it. It was completed on February 11th of this year. It's a nine and a fourth overall length. Uh, the scales are African mahogany. It's 1095 high carbon steel. Uh, Christopher made it, of course. Five thirty seconds inch thick, and it's a seven ounce leather dangler. Give you a real good look at that knife. If you can see that mirror finish there, not well you can see it, but perfectly mirror finish. Very nice, sharp ninety. Uh, scalloped handles. It's real smooth in the hand knife. That is a really Really sharp 90 on that. All right. So, something different. I'll give you a close up of that sheath too. Let it dangle. And excellent retention on her sheaths. Doesn't come out of Unless you really want it out. All right. So, this one he wanted to do something special with. And that's basically give it away. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to review this here in just a minute, but first I'm going to tell you what you're going to need to do to get in on this giveaway. There's going to be three different ways to enter, and the giveaway is going to have two different prizes. Uh, the first prize is going to be this knife from Sheath, along with a small first aid kit and a small fire kit. The two of the main winners. The second winner is going to get a small fire kit and a small first aid kit. Alright, so how do you enter to win these two different prizes? Uh, first thing you need to do is go to the Seven Pieces Survival blog page. I'll put this all in the description here later. Like the page. Uh, also go to over to Chris's page. You can see it right there. That link will be in the description also. And uh, like that page as well. Then once you're on the uh, Seven Pieces blog page, like that post. Comment on it in and share it with your friends. That's going to be basically the way that we know that you've done all those. I'm basically going to go back and check, make sure you did all three of those if you entered through Facebook. Uh, if you did, and you're the one that selected as a prize winner, obviously you're going to win the prize. Alright, your second means for those who aren't on Facebook or think Facebook is the devil or they spy on you too much, etc. and only use YouTube, because you can use whatever name you want, um, you get another option. If you're a YouTube user, I can't verify who you are on Facebook, so basically if you're on Facebook, this is the second way you can enter. Um, for anybody that is a subscriber to this channel, simply, number one, be a subscriber, and number two, just comment on this video, uh, whatever you want, I'm in, something like that. Uh, I want it, I want the knife, or tell us, actually just tell us why you want the, the knife, what you're going to do with it. So, why you want Chris's beautiful knife. And the fifth option, well, one option is Facebook, one option is YouTube. The third option is uh, during my live show on Tuesdays um, over at Prepper Broadcasting Network, um, you just attend the show. It's going to be on 4 5 16. Once again, it's 4 5 16. Not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday at 2100 hours, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, all I want you to do is either be in chat or call in with a comment. So if you're in chat, just chat away, do your thing. I'll see your name, and I'll give you an entry that way. So that's technically three different ways you can enter. So if you're in chat talking to us during Chris's show, he's going to be on the show on 4 5 16. Uh, that's another way to gain entry. So to gain that entry, you have to be in chat sometime before the first half hour, so I have time to 
give you a number. Um, and then sometime after the, the break, we'll select the winner live on the air. Um, the other option you have, instead of if you don't want to chat and you don't have internet access, you can call in. You can listen to the show via your phone by calling 347 202 0228. Once again, it's 347 202 0228. And when you call that, you'll hear the show in the ear. And if you have a question, this is the only way I'm going to know if you're in there, if you're not in chat. Just press 1, and that'll put you in the host queue. And uh, you can tell G-Man what your question is, and we'll try to get you live on the air. Um, so, once again, that number is 347-202-0228 if you want to talk to us live on the air. So, those are your three options. Facebook, liking Chris's page, liking 7 Peace blog page. Um, and when the review post is up there, which should be early this week, all you have to do is like, comment, share. Um, after that, you should be good. Then there's the YouTube version. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Then comment why you want this beautiful knife. And then the other option is being at the, uh, the live show that we're going to have. Uh, not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday, 4 or 5, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Be there. Be in chat. And obviously chat sometime before the half hour mark, before 9.30. And that or call in before 9.30 and ask a question. All right. All that's done. Now let's take a look at this knife. Let's see how this 90 is. I already know it's really, really good because I've been messing with it this week a little bit. All right, as you can see, it's taken off really good. Scrapings there. Let's give it a bit closer look. Nice and thin. Zero effort whatsoever. You get that right angle real good. Just remove the material like a dream. Easily enough to start a fire. See how she cuts. Oops. <laughs> I think I cut a little too much. You know, it's sharp. you don't have to put any weight behind it at all. You just got a nice, real thin shot of that. <clears throat> See how paper thin you get them? No problem whatsoever. So we know it shaves extremely easy. This thing is extremely sharp. Alright. Keep a ferro rod and see what she does. That was my first time using this with a ferro rod, so.
no problem removing a ton of material. Utilization as a drill. Starting your bow drill set. You're starting a burn hole to make a burnout container. Shelter building, etc. No problem really whatsoever. Works a little bit better with a bushcrafter or a Kepler style knife, but. With that tip like that, works quite easy. Plenty of pop. All right. Just gonna do a notch real quick. Little notch there. Let's do a V notch. No problem doing a V notch. No problem forcing off the end there. Doing the same there. Doing the same there. I usually take big chunks with this knife. Stuff like that. Okay. Let's see about the tawning cross grain. And the modified version. No problem whatsoever. Traditional wood screen tawning. No problem there. Let's take a piece. Of See a little bit of a knot there, no problem. Problem. Do the modified all the way down it. Problem there. Usually split it just by pressing down. Extremely, extremely sharp knife. Extremely effective for self reliance basic tasks like that. That uh, extremely sharp 90 on this knife will do you well. The grip just fits your hand like a glove. Give you a quick comparison. It's an LT right that I've been carrying a good bit. Uh, Bushcrafter HC. Profile and length difference, about the same length. 
Chris's knife a little bit longer, much thicker spine. And profile of the tip's just a little bit different. Uh, scallop blade allows you to use it as a draw knife a lot easier. Um, no problem with that effect. Not exactly ideal having to pull towards you, but if you have a piece of game, you need to skin easy way. For fighting style, the tip there gives you just that extra little bit of control. You can use it as a hammer quite easily. Just got to hold forward. Beat like that, not a problem. There you go. Use it as a hammer. So basically every single task that I need in the woods, long-term self-reliance, this knife will easily accomplish. And look great doing it. Forgot to show you his maker's mark right there. So that's it. Two brass, one brass pen, the uh, brass lanyard hole, three bead lanyard. All ready to go. Going to have a new home next week. Uh, remember how I told you to enter. I'll try to clean this up a little bit. Uh, this knife right here will be going to the winner very shortly along with a nice little first aid kit and uh, some fire making material. Probably some fat wood, some jute twine, maybe some uh, homemade fire starters I'll make this coming week. So I look forward to seeing you guys at the show. Um, it's going to be Chris's first time on 7P's uh, radio show, so welcome him. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll be back with more content real soon. Thank you, guys.